Let's make a Philly cheesesteak together. We're gonna use mushrooms, green bell peppers, onions. This is our plant-based meat we're gonna be using. Cheese. These are the seasonings we're gonna go ahead and use. And we need some olive oil. And this is our bread. So let's go. Peace family, we're back at it again with another cooking lesson. So today we're gonna be making a Philly cheesesteak. First thing we're gonna make is our plant-based meat. We're using the everything legendary, soy-free, gluten-free ground beef. Okay, so we're gonna turn our heat one we're gonna turn on a medium high so in between four and five i'm gonna let that go ahead and cook and then we're gonna throw in our green bell peppers and then we're gonna go ahead and open our meat we're gonna put our olive oil about a tablespoon of olive oil we opened our meat this is how it looks it smells Smells really different. So we're gonna cut a half of it because I'm not gonna cook all the meat. I'm gonna just cook half of it. Okay, we chopped it down the middle because I'm only gonna use one half. And then we're gonna go ahead and see how this cooks up. Okay, we took it off the heat. We went ahead and took it off the heat because it was cooking up fast. I got a fork kind of mash it down it's a little um kind of firm it's very firm so we just gonna go ahead and keep smashing it down we cut it down it smells good we haven't added any seasoning in there now we're gonna go ahead and turn our heat back on and i'm actually gonna set it on medium so in between the three and the four so let's go ahead and add our seasonings in here. First seasoning is our natural seasoning. We are going to do, I do it to taste, but to measure it out, let's say we're going to put a table, teaspoon. We're going to just do a dash of pink salt. So literally a dash and it's finely extra fine. So literally you only need a little garlic powder and all these seasonings we're gonna say one teaspoon onion powder we need some onion powder a teaspoon and we're gonna crumble up some black pepper on top now let's go ahead and mix all this together Okay, we're gonna mix all this together. It's cooking pretty fast. It smells good. Actually, we're gonna turn our heat down a little lower to number two on our stove. And it smells good. And I like how it looks. It looks pretty tasty. It crumbled up very nicely and we only used a half of the whole container of the meat. So it came out to give you a good little amount. And we're gonna go ahead and let that cook up. My plant-based meats, I always love to cook on a cast iron skillet. It's really not a direct time limit on how long you should cook it because it's plants. But I like to cook it a little until it gets dark. Until it's like really crunchy and hard. And we added some a sprinkle of lemon pepper. And we added a little bit more oil. And we're just letting it cook up. I haven't tasted it, but it smells amazing. 
we went ahead and tasted it and i do like the texture of it it's very firm like it's very firm like beef and i'm excited to see how it's going to taste with everything combined so for right now i review it and i would give it a i'd give it a seven for sure a seven one out of ten we turned our stove all the way down to low and it's done it's nice and dark it's very firm i love the texture of this so i actually changed my score and give it a I'll give it a nine it's very good i love how much i get i love the texture of it I like it's not really of course you always have to add your own seasoning so I do like how it smells when I first opened it, it smell very different and I love the firmness of it I like the texture so I definitely give this a nine I'm ready to eat it with my Philly and everything that is going to be in my Philly I'm super excited so let's go ahead and start on our grilled onions because this is done. We're going to turn the heat off. We cooked our onions in water first. We just filled the bottom, the whole bottom of the pan and you let the water evaporate and I turned my heat off. Now we're going to add a little bit of oil and we're going to start seasoning them. We're going to add a little oil to our onions just a little bit and now let's season it we're going to season it with the same seasoning natural seasoning we're not going to use that side we use the sprinkle side just sprinkle a little bit we're going to use some garlic powder and we're going to actually use some lemon pepper i'm not going to put onion powder in there because they're onions so yeah i'm just going to put a pinch of lemon pepper two pinches and let's mix it on up and we actually have our heat off so we're going to turn our heat back on and we're going to turn it to a two because they're already cooked down so i just want everything to you know really get grilled you want it to be a grilled onion. our grilled onions are finished we're going to turn our heat off and we're going to put this aside and make our mushrooms let's go we cooked our mushrooms down with water. Of course, I just put water in there to cook them down a little bit so I can use less oil. So we have our mushrooms and the water has evaporated. So we're going to sprinkle a little oil in there. And now we're going to season it. We're going to do the same seasonings, natural seasoning. This is my favorite seasoning. It tastes so good and it's all purpose. We're gonna use the umami. And we're gonna use garlic powder. And we're gonna go ahead and put some black powder on there. And since this is, I'm only gonna just be eating the mushrooms, I'm gonna add this sim this seasoning. I love this seasoning. It's like a lemon zest. It's so good. It's lime zest. It's really, really good. So now we're going to turn our oil back, our heat back on. I'm going to turn it on a, in between the two and the three. I'm just going to go ahead and cook those up with the seasoning. The milk is boiling, so we're going to go ahead and put our slices in there. I'm going to put three slices to start off and see if I need to add more or is that good. Mm, smells good. It smells really good. I think I'm going to go ahead and add one more slice to see how that works out. Because I don't want it to be too watery. But we turned our heat down. It was on high, but we turned it down to a four. And then let's add our next slice of cheese. And let's cut this one on up. This is our cheese. We went ahead and added another slice. So this is how it's looking. I love the texture. The smell of this cheese is amazing. 
So we're gonna turn our heat off and we're gonna let that sit. And now we're gonna go ahead and make our bread. These are our breads. We're gonna dip it in the hot oil, uh, butter, both of them. And then we're gonna cook one. We No, we're not gonna cook them at the same time. We're gonna cook this one. Let let it get, you know what I'm saying? Let it fry up. Let it get hot and nice and bothered. We're going to put our cheese on first. Put it on one side. And then we're going to put it on the other side. Next, we're going to put our meat on top. We got our meat back there cooking. We added some mayo on top. And now we're gonna add our meat. Okay. Just go ahead and add that on top. Mm, 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 mm. This looks amazing. So now we're gonna add our onions on, on there. Put that right in the middle. Ooh. Add some onions. Our vegan Philly cheesesteak. We drizzled some cheese on top and put our grilled onions on top. So we're gonna have our taste tester go ahead and taste it out and see what he thinks. All right, so we got our Philly cheesesteak right here. Y'all know I'm an East Coast affiliate, so this one's for the ones back home. Shout out to Philly. Okay. Wow. This is good. This tastes like a Philly cheesesteak. This is fire. The cheese on it. The meat on it with the peppers and the onions, it's fire for me.